what makes something special is that it makes you feel something. You know, it doesn't matter whether it's you know food or music or art or anything that you you know touch and hold. Um, and we feel that way about you know communication as well. Bond lets you send handwritten notes on personalized stationery from any device and anywhere. We've developed uh, technology that can actually learn your handwriting. It's not just about learning your letters, so it's just copying. Um, it's about learning how you actually write. Um, so everything from thinking about the speed with which you write, um, the pressure within which you hold um, a pen, um, and then actually built and manufacture the machines that hold pens and then can take that, the learnings that we've taken from you from your handwriting sample and then replicate that with a machine. There is still something compelling about a paper note. The, the tangibleness of it, the, the, the ceremony of opening it, the uh, ability to kind of file it away and to have, a, have a, an idea in your mind of where it is physically stored and perhaps even where it's stored next to, what that means about it. We get the handwritten sample from every customer um, and our job is to look through it and really find the essence of that person's handwriting. How you angle your lines, you tend to drift, do you tend to cram all your words together or do you space out everything? All the handwriting digitizing here is done by hand. We have to trace every letter. For me, what's really cool is having this be an art producing machine. Like the art is handwriting, but we're creating a machine that can execute it and can draw and be intimate with it. Like take a pen and use it the way a person uses a pen. When I interact with this thing, it's so well designed. The usability is so great. Maybe even I don't have to do anything. What are the sorts of daily rituals that I give up in letting something else take care of things for me? It's a much different, it's a much different way of living life where you're, in a sense, um, your sensual experience of the world is taken away from you in a way. The intention isn't, nor do we even offer the ability for us to tell you what to say. Well, we won't say, hey, write my girlfriend something great. To us, it seems like a very logical conclusion based on the technology trends we see. Digital things coming to life in the physical world, personalization, um, and technology that um, can increase our capacity as human beings. I mean, it looks Good. exactly like my yeah. handwriting. Um, the way I have kind of weird A's that they're exactly the same. I was connected to V and E, and I said, since it's a letter to my grandma, I said love a lot of times. So that connection between the letters is there. It's yeah. I mean, it looks identical. It's it's very strange. You can't really separate um, mind and body and emotions, and in part, that probably is why. There's some reaction to, it, with everything being digital and it being kind of abstract and mental only, that there is this desire for something more material or sensual or um, to attach memories to or to attach particular people to or to represent relationships. I do think um, some of the neatness and cleanness of, of digital there is a kind of reaction to that. Maybe, that. maybe that's the right kind of personalization, where it actually shows a little bit of wear and flaws and character. I think there's always a question of like, what's new? What's like the next thing? People stopped using Facebook and they went to Instagram. Once everyone started using Instagram, they went to Snapchat. And that, what, what is next in the world? And what I think is a, a new frontier is how these, the digital world and the physical world um, are, are beginning to connect. It's not to say that Snapchat is bad, but certainly if there is room in the world and there is a time and place when you want your message to disappear, I find a use case where I want something to stay forever because I really, really believe it and I mean it. And I may not sit down once a month to write handwritten notes, and that, that may not be the case because our worlds are different than they were. Um, but it doesn't mean that it is no longer important or relevant in today's world.